So my childhood, I come from a broken family. Um, me and my older brother and older sister lived with my father. My father worked long hours and wasn't too involved too much. So my brother and sister took it upon themselves to sort of parent me a fair bit. And then as they got older and moved out, it was, it was me sort of just looking after myself in high school and that. And I think what I learned from that experience was just basic life skills. Lucky it's the end of the day, mate. Lucky Aunty Trees has got two hours. That period was quite difficult for me. I had a part-time job, focused on my schooling myself. My grades and that were all sort of based on my own motivation. So when I was a third year apprentice, um, my partner at the time, we were both quite young. We fell pregnant and then we found out we were having twins. It was, it was a big eye-opener. Then I felt like I had to do a lot of growing up. I wanted to stick around and I wanted to be the best parent I could and I didn't want to run away from the challenge. I wanted to tackle it head on. When the boys were two and a half, we, um, they both got diagnosed with uh, ASD. And that was, that was the, the, the breaking point, I believe, in our relationship. That ended up happening when the boys were about three and a half, four. So this ear touches the bottom of as a parent of children with autism, Jeremy balances a lot of um, different aspects of their family life. He, he deals with therapists, specialist teachers at the school, deals with medical professionals, and also thinks about the needs of his kids as well as his broader family. That's a really big, big um, job for any parent. And so I really am privileged to work with families like Jeremy and the boys. <gasps> Guess what? Of course. Ah, nice work boys, you did it together. The boys needed a lot of therapy, a lot of love and support to, to be able to function. Um, they weren't talking at the time and still had a lot of challenges back then and we needed to focus primarily on speech therapy and occupational therapy. You want more of them? Me and Lachlan Sess' mum have 50-50 custody. So as soon as I get home, I pick the boys up and got them for my full seven days off. And boys are my rock. Um, when I was single for two years, it was just me and them. I'd go to work and I'd come home and have them for my full days off. And they, they got me through the, the rough patches in my life and I just have a lot of respect for them and yeah, really admire the challenges that they face now and they're gonna face when they're older. So I met Rebecca in 2012. We just clicked. She has been quite, quite inspirational to, to myself. I didn't think I'd, I'd find someone who had the boys' interests and their development as their main priority. I, I knew I was onto a good thing, so I proposed to her and we got married two years ago. If someone was to ask what Jeremy's most endearing feature would be, I'd have to say his dedication as a father and as a partner as well. I think Seth's gonna beat you. Come on! I've never come across a, a dad that was so focused on his children like Jeremy. It's first thing he thinks about when he wakes up and you know the last thought he has before he goes to sleep is basically on the boys' development and their happiness. And then we fell pregnant with you. Um, we didn't know how Lachlan Seth would have taken it having a new baby moseying in on their life here, but they've adjusted well. I think Beck coming into my life and the boys' life has been yeah, very positive. I guess I might be inspirational, but I don't look at it like that. I just look at it as just a dad just trying to get through the day. It's pretty easy doing what I do, having such great kids. So, you know, the love and admiration I have for my boys, it's, um, it's good. All kids have challenges. Doesn't mean that my challenges will be the same as the next parent, but I think just be a good dad. You just need to be supportive and have your kids' interests at heart. You know, that's what comes down to at the end of the day. Just you just got to love your kids. He is selfless, he's caring, he's hardworking, and has an optimistic outlook on life. And for these reasons today, I'm presenting the Queensland Father of the Year Award to the winner for Central Queensland, Jeremy Lang. Thank you. Thank you.